I'm Bart Gilbar. I'm here with David Green, Executive Vice President of Customers and Markets for Elster Solutions North America. Thank you for joining me today, David. It's my pleasure, Bart. I understand you've recently made the move from Dominion Resources to Elster Solutions. Uh, tell me a little bit about that transition and, and how it's going for you. Well, it's, uh, it's, it's going very well. I'm only four weeks into it. Uh, as you know, it's a very exciting time in the energy space, and part of uh, my decision to join Elster was to be part of a, uh, a company, but also a part of an industry that's transforming itself along with the utility industry uh, as it develops its smart grid vision. So I'm very, very happy to be aboard. Well, we're looking forward to seeing what you accomplish at Elster, and we're expecting great things. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, as you've seen at the conference today, there's a number of uh, issues facing the utility industry. Mm -hmm. uh, these should be very familiar to you, I'm sure, from your role at uh, Dominion and Elster. We have issues related to carbon capture, cap mm -hmm. and trade, infrastructure build out with the transmission uh, needs across the country. Of course, the whole development of s smart grid technologies. Mm -hmm. Among all of those issues and challenges, which do you feel are the most significant? Well, from, from my vantage point, we've talked a lot about this at the conference. Uh, a lot of focus on the technology, uh, whether that's renewable energy, as you talked about, the legislation and regulatory challenges. But the customer, the end use customer, uh, and if I put on both my, my former hat as a utility and now my new one, uh, a lot of challenges yet to be uh, overcome with the end use customer. As, as we heard today, most average consumers know very little about and understand the complexity behind the infrastructure around energy and what it takes to deliver that energy to their homes and businesses. So, uh, and we're getting ready to, as an industry, to deploy a whole new suite of technologies and capabilities that are very much dependent upon those customers interfacing with that technology. So from my vantage point, the challenge is how do we educate and, and bring those customers along so they can inf make more informed uh, purchase decisions and usage decisions on their energy uh, choices. Right, help them engage more completely and thoroughly. And that's correct, that's correct. That's good. Well, since we're in Washington, it makes sense that I ask you, you know, what can the Obama administration, Congress, uh, federal regulators such as FERC and, and uh, state regulators do to help achieve that goal? Well, they really, uh, what they could do is help ensure that we have, from, from federal and state policy uh, down to the actual implementation of devices and technology and systems that touch homes and businesses, that, that those, those tariffs and those policies uh, as administered by the local utilities, by the local jurisdictions, uh, those also support those policy goals and objectives. Uh, for example, uh, in a, in a, if, if not done correctly, a customer, in some cases this has happened today, where an, a customer installs uh, solar panels on their homes and they mm -hmm. end up with three meters on their house to, to meter all the appropriate transactions and when in fact the technology is available today uh, really to do all that within one metering point. And that's driven by local jurisdictional codes, uh, individual tariffs and that utility service territory. So we can't forget that last mile, so to speak, when we actually connect to the customer. Uh, and that can really help the, the implementation of this new technology and deployment go much smoother. Yeah, that last mile is the most important mile for the consumer in many cases. Absolutely. You know, in 2009 and going into the early part of 2010 now, there's uh, been a release of federal stimulus funds, the mm -hmm. American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. A good share of those stimulus funds were directed towards the energy industry and the smart grid development as well as infrastructure build out. Uh, from your perspective, um, how's it going with those grants? Are you seeing any market impact? Do you expect to see it soon? What, what's your view on that? Well, to date, we've not seen uh, any market impact, quite frankly, because none of the, uh, the DOE contracts uh, with uh, all the uh, award recipients have been finalized. So there, there are questions that arose having to do with taxation of the awards, some of the ownership issues, and those are still, they're close to being uh, finalized, but they've not yet as of uh, the 1st of March. So I suspect what that will end up doing is squeezing the bubble uh, a little bit, and it could end up with a lot of uh, activity happening in the back half uh, or the second, beginning in the second quarter. But through the first quarter of 2010, we've not yet seen the market impact that I think uh, all of the industry is anticipating and uh, waiting for. Yeah, some people were talking earlier in the conference that it should come this year. Nobody's making a bold prediction about when exactly, but it, 
it's on the horizon. Yeah, we hope so. And uh, so it, we, everybody's uh, everybody's ready to go. Uh, so it's just a matter, I think, once once those contracts are finalized, and in some cases for our customers, uh, those are, those awards will help. Uh, stimulate their already existing smart grid projects and others that will be their first venture into a smart grid uh, technology deployment. So we're very eager for those uh, those contracts to be finalized and move forward. That sounds good, it's exciting times ahead. Absolutely. Well, thank you for joining us today, we appreciate it. My pleasure, glad to be here. Yep. David Green, Elster Solutions. Thank you.